In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this half graphic, half text design. You'll be able to make t-shirts like this. I'm going to show you how to do it for free in GIMP. Let's go. Let's start by opening a new image. File, new. Let's change that to inches. Let's just do 10 inches by 10 inches. See here that my PPI changed, so let's change that to 300. Okay, there we go. Now, first, you want to put your guides. So let's go guides, new guide, vertical 50%, image, guides, new guide by percent. Put it on horizontal 50%. Okay. Now let's get our graphic. I download, downloaded this earlier from Pixabay. So I should have it right here in my recents. There it is. Perfect. Edit. Copy. Right click, edit. Paste as new layer. Right. Now you want to resize this. Hit your resize tool, click on the image, hold down control, and it'll resize from the center. That's pretty good. Hit scale. Now you want to grab your rectangle tool, bring your rectangle to the center. It should, it should automatically snap to the center. There you go. Now all you need to do is grab your erase tool. Now with this section selected, you just start erasing. Erase that, rid of all that. And there you are, there's your half graphic. Now go select, none. Right click on this layer. Layer to image size, just to make it all even. And start with your text. I'm gonna use Arial Heavy. Let me turn off my white background so I can see the letters because I want the letters in white. So I can put this on a black shirt. So I'm going to start with Leo. Not too big. Let's, see, let's go 800 maybe. Let's try that. No, still a little too big. That's okay. We'll just get it down a little bit. There it goes, perfect. At 650. Okay, like that. Now what I want to do for this is go to layer, cropped content. Let me zoom in a little bit here. Grab your move tool and lock it there to the center. And try to even it out with the top of the crown. That looks pretty good. Okay, now for the rest of the words. I have them over here off screen in a notepad file. So I'm really just gonna copy and paste right quick. Text, paste, there we go. Shift home, let's see the size. I wanna size them all about the same as close to, so it can look uniform. So let's try 250, see if that's enough space to get these words in. I don't want them to spill over the edge. No, it's too big, all right, let's go 200. There it goes. Perfect. That fits in there pretty good. Now as you see this, the side snaps right to the center. And let's keep going. Shift home to select the whole word. Change the size to 200. Grab your move tool and move it along the center axis right there. Now don't worry about the spacing, we're gonna deal with that in a minute. Let me get all these words in here.
Now what I'm trying to do is try to arrange these by size. Go on that one up, and that one up, going from the longest word to the shortest. What I want to do is I want to end about right here with the last word. Text to paste, shift home, 200. There we go. It's everything. Let me line it up against the center. Now what you want to do is you want to go to your background, click that, go to your distribute and align tool, hold shift and click on all the words you just put. Now you don't have to use these exact words or this exact anything really. I'm going for the zodiac niche right now. Being that a Leo just came in in July 23rd. So this should be a nice seller for the next month or so. Now what you want to do is you want to distribute. This will even out the space between your words. I have the offset set to a thousand. That might be a bit too high. But let's try it. Way too high. Okay, let's cut that in half. 500. There we go. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good to me. So let's unselect that. Now I do want to move it all down a little bit. So to do that, I'm just going to merge all these layers down. Put all the words together. There we go. Everything except Leo. Grab my move tool. And just kind of move it all down a little bit. There we go. Layer, layer to image size, get rid of that, and there you are. Now to see what it looks like on a white background, not so good, you don't see the words, but on a black background, there you go. Now if this helped you, go ahead and give me a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.